You know, the dope thing about this journey, you know, when you play football, you get a chance to meet all type of people, but you get all type of new experiences. And for me, now I get a chance to take this thing to Hollywood. You know, I never set out to become an actor or take part in any of that stuff, but to be in that realm or to just have that opportunity, and then you go back through the history of the game. One of my favorite running backs, the greatest football player ever, Jim Brown. You know, he actually left football to go to Hollywood. If the man that I want is down here, I'm gonna kill him and anybody else that gets in my way. Last season's winners. No, last season's losers. This is all part of creating the life you want to live. Doors gonna open, opportunity knocks, edge ain't letting nothing go. You know, I'm trying to experience everything that life has to offer. With that being said, edge in Hollywood now. Edge is known for what you see is what you get, but it's just a little bit different when you're going in the big screen. I guess because of the lighting and because of all the different things that it entails, you know, they want to put all this makeup on, you touch you up, and in Hollywood, they got to touch those spots. They want to make you look camera ready, I guess. You know, the, the movie thing is, it's, it's a little different, but it actually runs parallel with sports. You know, so I really felt like I caught on pretty good. You know, they gave me my lines, they gave me the script a couple weeks or a month or so ahead of time. And then you start breaking it down, you start looking at your responsibilities just like you're looking at the playbook. And you solely focus on what you have to do. And then your teammates come in there, which is the other actors or the supporting cast, they do their job, you meet, and then you just run that play. And that's the way I treat it. I treat it just like sports. It was different because you know, you have to get out there early and it's a lot of hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. It wasn't that big a deal to me. They give you a dope trailer. They give you somewhere to chill and it's a cool vibe. And if you surround yourself with good people and plus if you know how to make something out of nothing, it won't even be that big a deal. But when it's go time, it's really go time. Go over your lines, go over your different situation. It's just like in practice. We went over this play, we go over that play, and you go over the same play over and over and over. And when the lights come on, you just make sure you kill it. I named myself Edge Two Take. You know, that's all it took was two. Getting a chance to go out there to film um, part of a movie is cool. But it's just another reason to be in LA. LA got a dope scenery. You know, if you just sit back and look, you get to see those trees, you get to see the mountain, and just experience that whole LA atmosphere. It's a dope vibe, and I'm coming from Florida, where Florida's beautiful, but LA has its beauty also. We went out to Venice Beach. That was my first time getting a chance to be on Venice Beach. And growing up, you know the movie White Man Can't Jump. That's one of your favorite movies, got Wesley Snipes. And to actually be out there, everything is somewhat surreal because you're reliving your childhood to where I'm actually in the same space they did those things. And plus, when I picked that ball up, I had to come through and put that ball in the hole. Ed's gonna make that shot. You know, I talked to a lot of my friends that's in the business, I was like, hey, I got this little small part, and the first thing they say, hey, in Hollywood, there's no small part. Any part is a big part, because you don't know what it'll lead to. So, you never know. You might see a little bit more edge on the big screen. 